This is King of Review. Here we have a fairly complicated inequality to solve with a log of x in the exponent of x and then a more typical exponent 8x squared on the right side. Now whenever I see an x that's in an exponent, I usually think of taking a log. A log is the inverse of an exponent, so if I need to get a variable out of an exponent to solve for it, I usually think about taking a log of both sides of the problem. In this case, since the only log I have has a base 2, I'm going to try taking the log base 2 of both sides of this problem. So log base 2 of x to the log base 2 of x, and on the right side, the log base 2 of 8x squared. Now, there's a nice property of logs, a couple of them, in fact, that we're going to use here. One of them is that if I have the log base b of x to some power a, I can take that power and bring it outside the log. So it becomes a times the log base b of x. I can do that here with the log base 2 of x as my exponent. I can bring it out front. So I have the log base 2 of x times the other log base 2 of x. On the right side, I need to split up 8 and x squared first. And I can do that by remembering that the log base b of x times y is equal to the log base b of x plus the log base b of y. So I can split this up into the log base 2 of 8 plus the log base 2 of x squared. Now let's see, on the left side, I have the log base 2 of x twice, meaning I have the log base 2 of x, that whole quantity squared. On the right, I know that 2 to the third power is 8, so this log is equal to 3. And I can use the same property with the exponent coming out front to change this into 2 times the log base 2 of x. Now since I have the log base 2 of x squared and the log base 2 of x by itself on the right, I'm going to introduce a variable y and call that y that y equals log base 2 of x. If I replace all the log base 2's of x with y's, this becomes a much simpler problem. If I move all the variables to the left side, I get y squared minus 2y minus 3 is less than 0, and this is an easily factorable problem. I know that y times y is y squared. I need two numbers that multiply to negative 3 and add up to negative 2. That would be negative 3 and 1. So this means I have two options. I need this product to be less than 0, which means y minus 3 could be positive and y plus 1 could be negative, or y minus 3 could be negative and y plus 1 could be positive. On the left side, this gives us y is greater than 3 and y is less than negative 1, but it's impossible to be bigger than 3 and also less smaller than negative 1, so this doesn't work. On the right side, we have y is less than 3, and y is greater than negative 1. Now this works, because if we look at a number line, we can certainly have numbers that are bigger than negative 1 and less than 3. And in fact, those are all the numbers where negative 1 is less than y, which is less than 3. So, let's bring that over here and replace y with the log base 2 of x again to get x back into our problem. All we need to do to solve for x is to get rid of the log base 2. And we can do that with one final property of logs. If you take a base b and raise it to the power of the log base b of x, b as the base of an exponent and b as the base of a log cancel each other out and we are just left with x. Since I need to get rid of log base 2, I'm going to raise 2 to the power of all three parts of this inequality. 2 to the negative 1 is 1 half. 2 to the log base 2 of x cancels each other out, and we just get x. And 2 to the third power is 8. So now I have solved my problem for x, and we get that the answer is a. So that's it. Thanks for watching.